Hi YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my Golden Girls Project Pan Finale. Sorry this is a day late, um, I ran out of battery while I was trying to film earlier, so I didn't get a chance to film this, but we're here, that's what matters. Um, I'm going to show you the final three products that I had last month, and then I'm going to give you a quick run through of everything that I finished. So. By the way, this was a project with the Fantastic Ladies. I will link all of that down below, including the creator of it, um, everybody that was doing it, like this giant list of people, and you know, the Facebook group and everything. So, did I finish anything? No. That is because the product that I thought I would finish, I left in my purse for the last week. If I hadn't have left it in my purse the last week, I would have finished it anyways. This is for Dorothy. This is the Maybelline Baby Lips. Let me take down the plastic. That is what I have left, <laughs> like nothing. So this will be done before the end of the month. And that's what really matters to me. But I mean, I worked on this the whole time. Baby lips are beast, man. <laughs> I forgot that. So next was for Miami and I picked out a Maybelline color tattoo in Shimmering Sea. Um, I don't know if I've used this since last time, but I'm making like slow progress on it. I only wear this when I wear blue eyeshadow. And I do wear a blue eyeshadow a decent amount, just haven't worn any in the past couple of weeks. So I do plan to have this finished by the end of the year. It is pretty old. It still works perfectly fine, so I'm not worried about it. But especially since I have a blue eyeshadow in my Pan That palette, it's, this'll get done. I'm not worried about it. And finally, Big Daddy, which, you know, t intimidating product. This was an intimidating product, but uh, I have a MAC lipstick and the Ariana Grande from Viva, the Viva Glam thing. It's a gorgeous color. You just, you know, it's intense. And because it's a MAC lipstick, you know, they don't move very fast at all unless they're like some kind of Sheen Supreme or something like that. That's one that I would eventually like to finish, but it's it's gonna take a while. I do have some progress marks. I did make a little bit of progress in this project. Not a lot, but a little. So it's just not a fast mover, and I really only feel like wearing that during like the depths of winter. And as you know, we are now in May. I say this while wearing a fairly dark lip, but it's not as opaque and it's not as matte, so that makes it a little more I'm a little more up to it. Anyways, I'm going to go through everything else that I finished and when I finished it. So for Golden Girl, I had a Avon Skin So Soft Bath Oil, and I finished this uh, March 17th. I can now throw that away. For Rose, I had the Demon, not really Demon, I was just very ready for it to be done, Peach Body Butter, and I finished that April 1st. I was so happy. Yo, I was like, I'm gonna eat this if I don't finish it, but I managed to finish it in an organic way and not by eating it. For Blanche, I had the Wet n Wild lip gloss. And that is now done. For Sophia, I had to hunt this down because I apparently misplaced it. I had the Pix Pixie Flawless Beauty Primer and these are my marks on it. This one took me a while too, but uh, I honestly didn't love it simply because it's very dark. I didn't real and I didn't realize that when I got it. Next for back oh um I finished the Wet n Wild gloss on January 30th. I finished this February 27th. Next I had the Back in St. Olaf, I which was like a gimmicky product, although this technically works. The packaging is just awful. I had the uh, Turn Me Matte drops from Hard Candy, and I finished that on January 15th. Uh, for Picture It, I had the 17 Skin Wild 3-Way Highlighter, so a liquid highlighter, and I finished that on October 28th. This has been a 9-month project pan, by the way. Uh, for Cheesecake, I had the Matching Body Wash, which I finished a million years ago in comparison to that body butter. I finished it December 5th, so yeah. For Charlie Nyland, I had the Body Shop Tea Tree Face Wash that once I started using it, it still took me a couple of months. Like for whatever reason, even though this is a mini, uh, this, you don't need a lot of this at once. So it'll last you forever. Don't bother buying the full size, you will have it the rest of your life. 
It's a good one. It's a good face wash though. I really liked it. For Stan the Oh, and I finished that uh, January 19th. I don't know if I said that or not. For Stan the Man, I had the L'Oreal shampoo and conditioner, and I finished I finished one before the other, although I no longer remember which one I finished first. Uh, probably the shampoo. But uh, I finished both of them by January 10th, but I know I had one finished in December as well. And finally, for out on the lanai, I picked out eight sheet masks. Let's see, we have the Misha Super Aqua Cell Renew Snail Mask, the NOHJ Intracell 24K Gold Therapy, the Tony Moly I'm Real Charcoal Mask, the Leaders Break Up With Your Skin Cells Mask. This one was hella weird. The Coco Star Rose Sheet Mask. These were like little rose petals that I had to put all over my face. They looked crazy. A Yes to Carrots Vitamin Enriched Kale Paper Mask. And two of the final two that I had of the Yada Cosmetics Revitalizing Jelly Mask. And I finished the last of those on November 22nd. So that is it, short and sweet. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really, I have a hair on my face. Sorry. Anyways, that is it, short and sweet. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.